Hi Taurus, welcome to your High Priestess reading for 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to the Jezebel Way Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out and show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also this may be uh, resonate with your yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. This could be a, just a solo about you and your own private personal issues or it could be about a relationship. I want to stress that because it's been showing up as both lately. Also, uh, my voice has been doing strange things this week. So I have my um, lozenges and water at the ready. <laughs> All right, Taurus. What do we got here? intuition telling you we got here fan there's Taurus okay three of cups all right five of wands ace of Pentacles this has been going crooked lately so I want to make sure <clears throat> page of wands tower it could be Scorpio page of swords Ooh. So, okay, so I was like, whoa, we got, the, okay. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Tower, Scorpio. King of Cups, that could be Pisces. Could be Cancer Scorpio also, but I read it as Pisces. Okay, let's see. All right, so, let me get some water real quick. <clears throat> All right, hold on a minute. Yeah, you need to, you, need, if, you got an ending coming here. And this is, you, you know it's on the horizon. You suspect as much. You need to, and it, it looks like for the Tauruses I'm reading for, is that if it's not an ending, it's changes that need to be made and you're going to be the one making them. So you're either going to be in charge of making the changes or you're going to be kind of heading it off at the pass and cutting things off and ending things. What's this five of wands about? And it's, it's preferred here. And for the Tauruses I'm reading for too, there's this element of needing to see things realistically for what they are. Um, hmm. So that could lead to change. This could be a breakup or changes that you're like, all right, we need to go in a different direction. So what is this? What's this Five of Wands about? The Magician. this ace of pentacles about the world this is page of wands about though that's what I'm worried about this page of wands and page of swords this is page of wands about two of pentacles all right this is tower about Okay. All right. So you, <clears throat> you don't know this person like you think you do. This could be a new person. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, what you do know is that there's conflict with this person. There, there might be, it might be really passionate and exciting, but it's also, <clears throat> excuse me, never a dull moment. And for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, please don't take this the wrong way, but there, there's a bit of overly trusting this person or a bit of naivete because, the, hold on a minute, what's this page of swords? You're thinking that, I okay, knight of swords, that could be uh, Aquarius. <clears throat> you do, you, you need to do something about this quick. 
um, because we've got the tower and we've got the knight of swords here. I think you think, Taurus, that everything is okay, but there's a few things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about that uh, either you're, there's, there's something pretty heavy duty going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. And I think you might think that um, either everything is going along fine and that's just this person's personality. They're just, they're quirky and eccentric and they're, they're prickly and persnickety and all that. And you might think that everything's fine. We got this. It's, it's what, how we always are. Um, there's things that you might be suspecting intuitively, but you're just wanting to kind of gloss over, um, that this is, there's, there's things that you, you need to acknowledge your intuition on this. There's this strong desire externally to keep things a status quo, but you need to listen to your intuition on this and things are not as they seem. What's this King of Cups about? Three of Swords. Okay. No more um, denying what you know. And there, there's this, for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, there might be this preference or attachment to being kind of really positive and optimistic about where you're headed or the situation with this person. And it is not that. This person is doing some shady shenanigans um, without you knowing about it. And it could be that you're going to be finding that out about out, out about that very soon. And um, you your intuition has been on you about, you know, hey, uh, something's not right. You need to cut this off. This is a negative behavior pattern with this person or something's not right. They're doing something but you're wanting to be optimistic and give them the benefit of the doubt and work on things and they're not worth your effort because there's a large part of them that is hidden from you, that is they're keeping from you. And you would do well right now to speak your piece, have it out, um, and then get that time away from them that you need to think about things. This is... This is you needing to decide in light of what you are going to discover is going on, which your intuition has been nagging about you or nagging at you um, to do, to cut things off, to get some time away to think because things are not as they seem. There's something you don't know about this person. Um, you're going to be, and it's going to be up to you to do it because why would they change anything? The way they've got you thinking that everything is fine and as it should be. So they're not going to make a move to confess and tell on themselves. They're going to keep everything the way it is. They, they like the way things are going, but there's going to be some discoveries here that you're going to be like, whoa, it's going to shake your foundation um, and call into question everything about this relationship. It's not stable like you thought it was. It's, it's going to call everything into question. And, and you might have thought your person is somebody really stable and somebody you could rely upon, when in reality, they've got something going on that you don't, they, they're juggling things here. This is not the stable relationship that you thought it was. This is someone that's doing some shady shenanigans um, off to the side that's kind of <clears throat> keeping all the plates in the air on those sticks or whatever, and you're none the wiser. Part of that, don't hate me, um, could be that you've been wanting to see the best in them or wanting to... Um, just it's all gonna work out it's all gonna be okay we just have to ride the storm out we have to yeah but you're the only one doing the work you know what i mean um and they're taking advantage of that by continuing the shady shenanigans we got we got sadness and and this is knowing that it could what's going on could have been one of the outcomes this is this is being sad but not surprised this could be Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but this is about, a, so this becomes then with these two, it becomes a love that you endure that, you know, it's not a perfect love, or, but it's, it's more than that. That's giving this a lot of credit. What it is, is staying devoted and loyal to something that you don't feel that love for, but you're doing it out of obligation and duty, which is admirable. But this is someone kind of running roughshod over you. And taking advantage of your optimistic or your loyal nature. That's for Taurus. This needs, at the very least, Taurus, 
this needs to be spoken to and spoken about and you need some time to think about what your next moves are. Whatever situation this is, it comes to an end. It needs to. You can't ignore um, what what this is doing to your relationship because for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, you're very much alone in this connection. You're very much left to yourself and alone and there's very little connection between you and your person. Seven of Cups. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? <clears throat> Everything's up in the air and you're confused. Okay, so these two, both of these two. This is Four of Wands and Five of Pentacles. All right, so there's that, um, there's that union but the disconnect. There's that uh, communal situation but the disconnect and not knowing and feeling like, oh, this is like being secretly sad and optimistic or trying to make the most out of it or trying to make something it's it's kind of being naive or disillusioned and really this is born out of the sadness underneath or the disconnect trying to make the most out of a situation that really isn't there and it's, you're the only one concerned with making it or progressing or improving it what else for Taurus This is about you. Okay. All right. Justice. <clears throat> this, that's, that could be Libra. This is about letting an ending stand for now because you need some time to think. And you, in light of the information received, it's a double whammy because intuitively, secretly, you've been feeling the disconnect and trying to make the most out of it and limping along with this relationship that you have an attachment and loyalty to, but you're not feeling it. And your person is going to come to light, has been doing some shady shenanigans. Um, quite possibly there could be more people involved. This could also be addiction. We got the devil and three of cups here. This could be someone that has a raging habit in the, that's been kept in the dark or out of your awareness. But you've had this sneaking suspicion for a while. That's going to come to light. Um, and maybe depending on your dynamics and what you want to do, that could lead to healing. Um the discovery of that could lead to healing and you two working together. It could lead to a time of separation. There's a lot of what it could lead to, but it needs to be brought to light. And you can't be the only one in this relationship trying to keep this relationship afloat because your heart's breaking and it's empty and you're sad and there's no connection here and there's worse things, I know. But for the type of person and partner you are and the connection that you want and that could be, balance needs to be restored best course of action at the very least is you being the agent of change here. And the thing is, is intuitively this jives with your intuition. Um, it's time. It's about you calling it out about you kind of upsetting the apple cart here because this, this will continue, um, in perpetuity as long as you allow it. It's unfortunate that you're kind of the only one that is willing to rise up and go, all right, this needs to end. I don't know what you're doing, but I know you're doing something over here without me seemingly knowing. And we need to illuminate everything and have all the cards on the table here. What What is going on? So there's the opportunity for that to bring things back into balance. Or this could be you cutting things off and taking some time to think about things. Because your person is not who you think they are. But more importantly, deep down, you know that. But you've been trying to help it along and fix it and hoping that it'll re-normalize or re-stabilize. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Hold on a minute. By your efforts and making it happen. But there's frustration because you're the only one trying to make it happen. Because they're busy over here doing the shenanigans. And you're the one keeping everything afloat and you're tired. And you're lonely and you're sad. It's not fair can't be the only one interested in this relationship and you're not even feeling it anymore because you're you're kind of depleted <clears throat> but the thing is um you're doing it out of devotion and loyalty and love and you're honor bound and all those good things and you deserve better frankly and you should call this out you should honor that intuitive feeling of something's not right i need to get ahead of this and take control of this whether it means ending the relationship or calling it out for healing whatever it is you deserve better and it's going to have to be you that calls it out that you you that takes the decisive action for some of you that very well could be no contact 
because this person could be so deep in their business or their shenanigans that they don't care. Um, it could be that this is, if it's not shenanigans, it's someone that's just, this could be an affair that someone started and you're finally throwing in the towel and being like, you know what, I'm not going to compete with an affair. Um, you obviously don't want to be here. I've been trying to keep us afloat, but psh, no. This For this year, Taurus, this is about you seeing it realistically and looking at that. You've been, for the Tauruses I'm reading for, this has been kind of a lonely place for you for a while. Um, and I think you're just going to be tired of that. You're, this is, enough is enough. It's, it's taken a lot to get you here, but enough of enough. This is a wake-up call and this is you listening to it and in an attempt to restore balance. Whether you break things off or this is separation so you can figure things out and what's your next move <clears throat> is going to be up to you and you're dynamic with your person. That's for Taurus. Queen of Wands. Yep, you're going to have to take charge. This could be Aries. There's also the possibility that this is you thinking, you know what, I've given this enough time and effort and it's time for me to strike out on my own. And maybe I just need to accept how things are, that this is the best it's ever going to be and that that's, I don't want that anymore and I'm taking charge of my own future. This is either an opportunity for you two to work together and figure things out or for you to strike out on your own. You'll decide that. What's this Queen of Wands? Okay. So it looks like this is you making changes to be able to be self-sufficient and take care of yours and your own without partnership right now. Then it's unfortunate. This is Capricorn, Aries, because this part, I mean, you, you gave this a lot and this person kind of just squandered it by doing the shady shenanigans. And this is, that's, that's a shame because you, you're no slouch when it comes to relationship or anything, really. I mean, you pull your weight, you do your part, you invest, you, you're present, you're there. And now your intuition is saying, you know what? This is not worth it anymore. Something's not right. And you need to, you need to finally acknowledge that. You can't keep making a silk purse out of a sow's ear or whatever the saying is. You deserve better. And this is, you're the only one interested in keeping this afloat. <clears throat> Else for Taurus. Else for Taurus. Looks like this is preferred too. That after the effort you've made here, you're like, okay, that now I get to move forward and focus on myself and my own my mine and my own. What is that? Me and my me and my own. Me and mine. Good lord. And once again, here's you being the bigger person, you know, no drama, just, all right, well then let's figure it out. You taking care of things, you handling the dissolution or you handling the decision-making because your person's just, you know, that's for it. darn it. Well, I can see why you hung in for so long. Eternal flame. That's unfortunate because you would have liked for things to be differently because this was an important connection to you and you're still probably going to be processing the ending. Perhaps this is just a temporary ending right now so you can get your wits about you. Perhaps this is you figuring out how the partnership is going to work in light of what you're calling out. But again, this is a lot of work for you to do because your, your partner feels like they're not there, that they're once removed. That you're having to figure all this out on your own. We've got eternal flame here. This very well could be temporary time out so that everything can get aired out and you two can both figure out your next move. I hope for that. I don't like this being, well, you're there you go, Taurus. That was it. That was, you know, you had a good run, off you go. I don't like that. I <laughs> want this to be happier, but I think this is um, about you listening to your intuition finally and not throwing in the towel, but just not making it okay for this anymore. You get to be happy too. And this, whatever shady shenanigans are going on, it needs to be called out. You've either been making it okay 
and kind of wanting to be overly optimistic about something that's been limping along for a while, or you honestly don't know what they're doing um, behind closed doors or, you know, whatever. But it's, it's time that this gets called out and that you get to, you get to have some efficacy here that you, you take the lead for your own well being or you take charge of this, that you, because you've kind of been alone on this, in this for a while. And this is just you calling it out and going, okay, something's not right. And I'm going to be making these changes for the Tauruses I'm reading for. You've been holding this together. And it looks like you're going to have to be doing a lot of the decision making. At which point it's kind of preferred because you feel better about those that you are caring for or just the decisions that need to be made. You're, you're more in a capacity to be able to do that. This feels like it's either just a romantic situation for you in general for the whole year or one specific person. But either way... This is you stepping away from being involved in this relationship or connection because you're alone in it anyway. And it's time for you to step out and get your good. I could see why there was the effort though because this is something you really believed in. I am sorry that it has come to this. But this is it's through no fault of your own. Um, you really did your best you could, but it can't be all on you, can it? <clears throat> That's the Taurus. That's the Taurus. Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune reversed. So this is things taking a turn for the not so positive and you making some decisions about that. We have the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Didn't we have the King of Swords somewhere? Did I, oh, King of Cups. That's what we had. Um, so this is needing to make some decisions after things not working out, things not progressing. This just taking a turn for the worse. Um, hitting a, a, a run of bad luck or just... It's almost like, you know what? This is just too much. I can't handle having to lift this up and then it just goes back to the way it was anyway. This is... I hate to say feeling like a failure, but just realizing intuitively um, that this is not going to be this sort of optimist, optimistic progression. Like, well, we don't know what's, hap what's going to happen, but good things await. Good things are in store. This is things not progressing. This is good luck being delayed or things being stalled. And any chance for... We got the world card here too, like leaving things open ended, and we'll see. That's been put on hold as well. So it's like things aren't progressing. There needs to there's decisions that need to be made. Three queens here. Wow. Okay. All right. Taurus, it is time for you to be able to restore balance to your life. In light of all this, this is the decisions need to be made. Probably you're going to be the one making them. Um, but you need to have some distance and time from this. It's just, you're very much alone in this connection. And it that's... It, no. That won't suit. You deserve better. All right. So. I want to say this is about being liberated. But, I mean, it, I want to pretty it up. I just... I don't like that... It's so drastic, but at the same time, I think there's going to be great relief in finally acknowledging what you've been kind of fighting against or trying to keep limping along. No, no more. No more. That's, that's throwing good energy after bad. This is you finally stepping away, making the decisions, seeing it for what it is, having that perspective and making decisions accordingly about your best interest and restoring stability in your life. All right. I hope this was helpful. I think, okay, I wanted to add to that too. I think that you know that this is for the best. Um, I'm not saying that to kind of like try to perk up the, re the Lord knows I don't do that. 
but I honestly I think there's a sense of feeling like it's time and there's there's a preference for restoration and healing and just things being calm you've given it your all and it's time I think this is preferred there's there's relief and finally accepting and letting go or just beginning the process it's like a huge weight's being lifted and you just you get to decompress a little bit once you get some distance from this okay i hope this was helpful taurus please get some rest and take some much time needed to process this you deserve it you've given it your all and it takes two and you know that and you have love in your heart as you're walking away and you see it for what it is I like the stability here and the restoration of peace and tranquility and health because you're taking the reins and making decisions. All right. I hope to see you. Please get some rest. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Love to you this year, 2020, the year of hindsight. <laughs> um, you take care.